Also from Valiant, I got to read The Delinquents. Huge fan. I know I've said this a million times. I love Quantum and Woody. I love Archer and Armstrong. So when these two come together on a quest of hobos, what couldn't be perfect? I mean, it's awesome. This starts off right with Quantum and Woody trying to find out more of the hobo code. They end up on um, the farm that they referenced earlier that's owned by, to be honest, I don't even know who it's owned by, but it's great because the writing brings in essentially the same humor as the ERA from the uh, Quantum and Woody books, which I think is hilarious. So we have essentially a genetically altered cow farm and the cows mutate. And it's, it's again, hilarious. I love it. And it's a great little Easter egg in there as three of the cows are named after characters from Games of, Game of Thrones. So I thought that was fun. Um, the characters do meet up. Quantum and Woody meets up with Archer and Armstrong. And again, hilarity ensues. There's misunderstanding as always, of course. Um, I love another little, and this time it's, it's James Asmus who actually did the writing, but it's sort of a Fred Van Lett type of thing that he does, and that he references a historical point where Armstrong is going to fly, and it's because he stole some of the coolest inventions that uh, Da Vinci came up with. I think that's hilarious. Great use of history. Again, great book. I thought it got a little slow here at the end, a little wordy as the teams are coming together trying to figure out what they're going to do how they're going to cooperate, if they're going to cooperate, what they're trying to find. But again, it's entertaining. I really like how James Asmus writes, so it's, it is entertaining, but it did slow the pace down from the beginning where we basically have teams on the run, then teams meet each other, and then it just slowed down a little bit for that. I highly recommend you pick up this book. I think it's highly entertaining. I'm going to go ahead and give this three and a half out of five Nerd Skulls. <laughs> Hey guys, Brandon from Nerd Locker here, and if you like the review you just saw, why don't you check out some more of our reviews over here, right on the side, through the magic of editing.